Hey everyone. Something came in the mail today. Something big. Let me, let me show you. Let's open it up. So as you can probably see now, we'll be unboxing and then building the Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer. 3333333333. <laughs> I've got to admit, this thing came in way more pieces than I initially thought it would, but I think some people may enjoy that. The good people over at Prusa were also kind enough to include a pack of delicious gummy bears, which turned out to be absolutely vital for the printer building process. At first, I was pretty intimidated by that. The complexity of the build and the instructions that came in a 130 page soft cover booklet. But things were pretty clear, and we only really got hung up on one part due to a bad nut that was included in the kit. As for the part that was bad, we didn't even realize until we had already slotted the nut into a position wherein it couldn't be easily removed. But Prusa was kind enough to send us over a replacement part, and we learned our lesson. Make sure you test every nut and bolt together before slotting them into the plastic components. You may also notice a few outfit changes throughout the video. I originally planned on assembling this bad boy in one afternoon, but in being as careful as I could in the assembly process, it took me and my wife several days to put it together. After those several days of taking our time and ensuring that we followed every step to the letter, it's finally up and running. Sort of. You might be wondering what exactly I mean by that. Well, you'll just have to wait and see. The old YouTube trick where I make you watch until the end of the video. <laughs> until that moment, just enjoy this time lapse of us putting the thing together. did it. 
Prusa i3 Mark III S Plus. Say that five times fast. <laughs> But in all seriousness, it did take a few days uh, to assemble when I thought it was only gonna take one. Um, this is my first filament printer that I put together, so go easy on me out there, folks. Um, up to this point, I've been using a resin printer, so I'm very excited at the larger print capabilities of this one, as well as the, the cost savings that I'll be receiving from using filament instead of resin. Uh, we did go ahead and print uh, a little test print here. You may have noticed from our video that it failed. Uh, and while it's not the best Benchy that I've ever seen, um, it did look pretty good up until the failure point. When I took it off the print surface, the reason why that, uh, that print failed was readily apparent. Uh, the print nozzle was not close enough to the print surface, and so the bottom layer was uh, really bad. Um, <laughs> so I adjusted it, uh, fixed that user error, and was so confident in the capabilities of the printer that I went on to print some bigger stuff, like this roof for my D&D terrain. Um, I actually printed a couple other roofs and painted them the same day to use in a session that night. Um, if you're interested in watching that session, you can check it out here on our YouTube channel along with all the other sessions that we post. Um, and if you're interested in seeing more of that, you can subscribe to the channel. We actually post one every weekday, so there's tons of content coming out there. And if you're interested to see more of the stuff that I'm going to be printing, some of the behind the scenes of the dungeon terrain that we'll be using, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment on the video. We're still a small channel, so everything helps us out. Um, and I'd like to know what you want to see. Do you want to see time lapses of things being built? Do you want to see me paint some of this stuff? I'm not the best painter, but I can show you what uh, what you can get away with whenever you're not the best painter either. Um, but all that said, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And until next time, go out there and make some chaos.